Hello friends, welcome back. In the previous session, we had an introductory discussion of RTAS. We understood what exactly is RTAS, what is general purpose operating system, what is real time, all these kind of discussions we had in the previous session. And in this session, we are getting a little deeper with understanding the differences between real time operating system and general purpose operating system. It's going to be interesting and easy to understand. With respect to timing and responsiveness, RTAS is highly deterministic and deadline is very, very crucial. RTAS is designed for tasks that require precise timing and immediate responses. RTAS also guarantees deterministic behavior and predictable execution times. But when you come to GPOS, they are not designed specifically for real time requirements. Missing deadline would not really cause any damages or threat to life. GPOS prioritizes overall system usability and multitasking over real time and deterministic responses. Scheduling approach followed in RTAS is strictly prioritized. This uses priority based scheduling approach and critical tasks are definitely executed promptly within defined time constraints. But when you come to GPOS, it is not so. GPOS uses variety of scheduling algorithms for multitasking, focusing mainly on the fairness and resource utilization rather than timing related stuff. Applications, RTAS, all the applications that we talk about RTAS, work with RTAS are real time. Commonly used in embedded systems, industrial automation, robotics, automotive systems, aerospace and other scenarios wherever real time responses are demanded. When you come to GPOS, the applications could be really broad. It can be used in general computing environments such as the personal computers, the laptops, the servers, where versatility and multitasking are more crucial and critical than real time performance. Complexity involved with RTAS is less. Yes, it is a lightweight operating system and it is often leaner and lighter and more focused on specific tasks, resulting in lower overhead and faster response times. But when you come to GPOS, it's heavyweight, so definitely complex. More complex because of accommodation of wide range of applications, functionalities, and definitely this leads to higher overhead and less deterministic behavior. RTAS is lighter. Remember that. Deterministic behavior. RTAS is meant for that. RTAS offers deterministic behavior with precise timing, ensuring tasks are completed within specific time frames. GPOS are not meant for that. It is efficient, but it will not or may not guarantee you. Consistent timing due to the focus on multitasking and more of user friendliness. And memory, RTAS does not have a large memory. It is very limited memory, and naturally, the embedded systems or smaller computing engines will have very limited memory. GPOS, we do not have to worry about memory at all because it is very luxurious in terms of memory. It will be in the order of GBs, and that's a luxury. Environment, RTAS is designed for single user environment, whereas GPOS is for multi user environment. And RTAS, PRTAS, VXWorks, QNX, all these are examples for you. GPOS, the very own Windows, Mac, Linux, all these are examples for you. And finally, RTAS is tailored for applications where precise timing and immediate responses are really crucial. But GPOS, on the other hand, caters to broad range of computing needs, prioritizing versatility and multitasking over real time performance. I hope it was useful. We will come back with next session shortly with more RTAS content. Thank you very much for following the channel. The content. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Thank you.